Well, we have uh, introduced a new refinancing facility, especially with the aim to provide more liquidity into the banking system so that the banking system is able also to make more loans to the real economy. So we have a program where loans are guaranteed by the Swiss government and the liquidity comes from our national bank and the banks then distribute th that liquidity uh, to a broad range of, of companies, especially to the small and medium-sized uh, companies. So this is a very important program. It was very effective and helped many of these small and intermediate uh, medium enterprises quite, quite a bit. Now, um, the, uh, uh, can you repeat your second question? Whether Panda, regard to financial stability. Yeah. Exactly. Well, How well positioned the, do you think the, the, the Swiss banks are? Yeah. Well, we published today our financial stability report, and there we make clearly the statement that the Swiss banks are in a very good position regarding both capital and liquidity. So all the measures that we took over the last 10 years in order to um, increase the capital in the banking systems are now very helpful. So both the uh, international active banks, so the big banks in Switzerland, but also the domestic oriented in a very good position, given now the difficult time that comes. So they are in a position to make loans to the real sector, but also to absorb losses. And we are very, I think, uh, it was very important to have these measures in the past so that the Swiss banking sector is now in a very strong uh, position. And uh, what do you think of the Swiss banking regulators' stance uh, around dividends, uh, urging uh, banks uh, paying dividends to consider, you know, who should ultimately be getting this money and the trade-offs between lending more to the real economy and keeping their shareholders well-funded? Well, we believe that a certain prudence regarding dividend payouts and uh, also paying back capital is very important at this moment. We are supporting to these measures taken by FINMA. And also, I think it's a broad agreement between banks and uh, the regulators here. Uh, we also made uh, some special measures like uh, abolishing uh, the uh, counter-cyclical capital buffer. But we also made very clear that this capital should not be used uh, for paying out dividends, but rather to either absorb losses, future losses, or to make loans to the real sector.